Well, what's coming next has already happened. John P. Holdren wrote the 70s. They're put, you know, they want to put stuff in our water to sterilize us. Guess what they do? It's called fluoride and other things, bisphenol A. Here's a great article at Infowars.com by the amazing uh, researcher. Uh, it says, UC professor eyes permanent sterilant to call U.S. population. Cardulo also told people could reduce population impact on the earth by becoming vegetarians. They want to make that the law, basically. Well, taxes on food that are starting in New York, kind of the rollout city. One of the things we know is the production of meat is incredibly expensive, he said. So, so they'll decide what you have if it's expensive. What about having an economy, punk, but you want us all poor, getting everything from you? You are going to start hearing more and more about humans' carbon footprint, and one of the biggest contributions to the carbon footprint of the production of meat we could do is simply by just becoming more vegetarian. We're going to be covering this with Aaron Dykes, Melissa Melton, with an amazing report coming up in a moment. Although the professor tells his listening audience that the lower their living of the lower their standard of living to minimize human impact on the earth, he stresses that this is itself isn't sufficient to lower fertility in the United States. Also, the professor continues saying famine, disease, and war, and so on, do not have the ability to effectively call the human population. And uh, they go on to break down cutting Chinese and American research. He goes on to say, mentions that uh, this chemical has the potential of killing humans, causing not just temporary, but permanent sterility in males. Ultimately, the World Health Organization argues against using it, but in, interestingly enough, there are countries in the world, such as China, Nigeria, and Brazil, using it in a permanent method of controlling fertility in males, which is an option, he went on to say. And uh, there is the uh, molecule of what they are talking about. And this stuff's already in the food and water, very similar molecules. We are being exterminated right now. That's why cancer is off the charts. And we had big news with Mike Adams about that today, uh, dealing with the giant tumors now confirmed by top French scientists in a major medical journal uh, that when they feed them GMO corn, it's just massive reductions in life expectancy, giant tumors, cancer off the charts, just what we're seeing in humans that everybody's not supposed to pay attention to because uh, terrorists are hiding under every table. Finally, as we go to break here and come back with our guest, Beijing hints at bond attack on Japan, London Telegraph. Just yesterday, their top general said they may have to have a military conflict with Japan. Notice this is all happening all over the world. As currencies are devalued, as global meltdown takes place, the system is now pushing towards war, which will get the general populations diverted into rallying around the flag and doing what their governments tell them when the governments themselves have been hijacked by foreign megabanks. It is clear, quoting, uh, the government, that China can deal a heavy blow to the Japanese economy without hurting itself too much, he said. It is unclear whether he was speaking with a full backing of the Politburo or whether uh, sales of Japanese debt would do much damage. The Bank of Japan could counter the move with bond purchases. Any weakening of the yen would become welcome. But what are the globalists like is they know about all these decisions because they're controlling all these governments, European, American, Canadian, Mexican, uh, Japanese, Chinese, Nigerian. They know the decisions before they're made. So they can all pre-position knowing the ups and downs to consolidate power and control. But the biggest consolidation of power and control is that the social engineers are destroying industry and making us all poor so they can control us for less and less money that they, again, control completely. It's about shutting off energy to make you pay more for less. This is all about artificial scarcity. Here is the daily quote as we go to break and come back with the amazing report compiled over the last three weeks by Melissa Melton and Aaron Dykes. Japan is an important ally of ours. Japan and the United States of the Western industrial capacity. 60% of the GMP of the two countries. That's a statement in and of itself, Dan Quayle. Okay, we'll be back with InfoWars Nightly News. They want to make you so poor you can't vote with your dollars for organic food or vote with your dollars to get high-quality vitamins and minerals at places like InfoWarsHealth.com. They want to make you poor so you can't afford six memberships for the price of one at InfoWars Nightly News. You can sign up at PrisonPlanet.tv or InfoWarsNews.com. One membership, the username and passcode you create, can be shared with up to six people who can simultaneously log on. But even if you can't become a member, and you're watching this as we virally spread it out 
the day after we air it first for, for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers, you can spread the word about the radio show, about PrisonPlanet.com, and about InfoWars.com. The success of this mission against tyranny depends on you and the decisions you make right now. Going along with this tyranny will not protect you. History is clear on that, and my gut is clear on that. My instincts know the way towards liberty and freedom for ourselves and our children is standing up against these bullies and giving them both barrels in the info war. So subscribe today at PrisonPlanet.tv. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.